Well, Carter Cave State Park in Kentucky welcomed visitors this weekend as most of its attractions reopened. 13 News reporter Haley Kosick explains how COVID-19 impacted the park and how they're happy to be back. We did lose some staff. You know, we it was started. It was in March, so we were beginning to ramp up the season. We did have some seasonal staff that we typically have every year, but it also made for some challenging times too, because it went down to bare bones. But the grass still grows. Carter Caves State Park never completely closed in the midst of COVID-19. Trails remained open, which is kind of a cool thing because you know people need a chance to get out and, and escape and nature is it's good to be out in fresh air, but everything else was shut down. That's not the case anymore. Being home for like 30 to 60 days and then getting out of those four walls and seeing people and the interaction, it just really feels good, uh, which is a good thing. Um, so it's good and the park I think has been good for a lot of people. Unfortunately, the most popular attraction at the park remains closed. The caves themselves and at this time has no reopening date set. Even though the caves are still temporarily closed down here at Carter Caves, doesn't mean there are some really neat and big places for you to check out, such as this. It's uh, big. I love the place. <laughs> what do you think of this place? It's so Beautiful. cool. Like, you go under the bridge and then it's big. The Welcome Center and Gift Shop are open again with a limit of 10 guests at a time. Yeah! Miniature golfing is back on, as well as the camping grounds, both at half capacity to meet Kentucky health guidelines. <laughs> and horseback riding, which is new to the park. We all, we're a very big team here at Carter Caves. Everybody works together really well, and it was another thing that, that brought us together and made us stronger. In Olive Hill, Kentucky, Haley Kosick, 13 News, working for you. For more information on the park's times and more details on the attractions at the park, you can head to our website, wowktv.com.